Hey guys, welcome back. This is Saif with another tutorial from tech for all In this tutorial, I will show you guys how you can unprotect or remove the password of a protected Excel worksheet. Let's start. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will create a new Excel file and then I will protect it. I will name the Excel file tech for all Now open the Excel file. I will enable the editing. I will do a few modifications and then I will protect the sheet so that no one should be able to edit it. Now that I have formatted a few rows and columns, I will protect this sheet, click on the Review tab, and then click on the Protect Sheet. From the following rows, I will select all of them that no one should be able to do anything. And I will put the password 12345. Press OK. I should re-enter the password now. Press OK. Now, this worksheet is protected. I cannot edit or modify it. Here it says that the cell that you are trying to change is a protected sheet. Now let's suppose that I have forgot the password of this Excel file and I cannot modify or edit this worksheet. Now I will show you guys how to unprotect this sheet if you have forgotten the password. First of all, close the file, right click on the file and rename it. You have to change the extension from XLSX to zip and press enter and press yes button. As you can see that the Excel file is changed to a zip file. Now all you need to do is open it with a WinRAR or with 7-zip application. I have opened it with WinRAR. Now go to the Excel folder. Now go to the worksheets. As my file has only one worksheet, it shows one in here. All you need to do is extract it into the desktop, open the file with Notepad, let's expand it. In this file, you need to search for the word protection. To search for it, press Ctrl F from your keyboard and write down protection. As it is already written in here, click on the next button to find the protection word. You need to delete this entire sentence where it sorts from this kind of small bracket. Select it up to where the bracket closes. I will delete it from the start of the bracket until the end of the bracket. Press backspace from your keyboard and now press Ctrl S from your keyboard to save the file. Close it. Now you need to add it to the zip folder. Drag it and you need to drop it in the vendor. Press OK. The file is successfully added. Now close the zip file and change the extension back to Excel extension. Right click on it, rename it, change the extension from zip to XLSX and press enter. Here it says that do you want to change the name? Press yes. Now open the Excel file. Now let's see that whether I can edit this worksheet or not. Here as you can see that the sheet is unprotected. Click on the review. Here it says that now you need to protect the sheet because it is already unprotected. And that's all for today guys. If you need any help, comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I will catch you very soon with another tutorial. Till then, have a nice time.